because this is gonna be lighter. So I got a small piece of a steel wolf and all we're gonna need is touched like that let's see and put a cotton ball on top sometimes open it like that makes it easier alright check this out and we got a fire already you see the cotton bond cotton balls are on fire what do you guys think? If you blow it, it's gonna go even faster. Yep, that's pretty much it. Start the fire with the cotton balls, steel wool and a battery. And you see we have a fire. Once you touch it, you see how easy it burns. Tell me in comments how is that happening. Take and so you can see the flame. Check this out. You see how far apart it is? You think you know how to do it? Check this out how far apart the fire from the lighter. Ooh. You see how far apart it is? Look, it's like five inches almost. The challenge is how to break it in half with your bare hands. Alright, let's get to it. I'm gonna rip it from this side right here. So that's it guys, I hit the phone book in half with my bare hands. Survivor tip, we're gonna be hacking 823 energizer battery. So let's get to it. This is pretty famous hack, but all you need is 823 energizer battery. You see 823, it costs around $5 and uh, pliers. You know, in a zombie apocalypse, energy is very important. So I'm gonna show you another energy hack. So pretty much we're gonna get our pliers and open open this battery just on the line over here you see just grab it and peel it away as you can see it's nothing too hard just grab it and peel it off and check this out we're gonna open our take that paper out and keep opening it and guess what we're gonna get look we got one two three four five six seven eight cell batteries a lot smaller batteries but sometimes if you need a thermometer you know to check somebody's temperature or like small devices and you can power up a bunch of small other devices this is looks like a circle huh it's actually square, spinning square. And see what it is. Oh snap. Oh wow, it's even cooler. You know, you get a pencil and if you open it and take out a lid, you get this big. Look how thick it is. So let let me open this one and just compare how how big is the difference. This is what I used last time, and this is what I'm gonna use the this time pencil lid. So let's just get to it. First, I'm gonna use the small one. This is really tough. It's usually breaks so easily. It's so annoying to use the small one. And remember, safety is number one priority. Keep your fire extinguisher close by because we're dealing with fire and you know, safety is no joke. So just keep it close by. All right, and then I'm gonna cover it with a jar. If anything gonna explode, nothing gonna get me. And let's just touch it. You see, how long will it stay on like that? 
It's actually staying on a lot longer than last time. Yeah, let's see how long will it stay on. Yep, you see it's blow up. Of course, we got a lot of smoke. Don't breathe this. You know, is the, where is this from? You see it have burned out. Just very, very thin now. So what I'm gonna do is take this one out and replace it with this thick one right here. Just enough length and see what's gonna happen. So let me just take this cup out. One and two. Look how thick it is. It's really nice. Then we're gonna put the our glass on top to make it as a light bulb. Then we're gonna plug this to wire set here. Let's see. Alright, I think the problem is Oh, it's turning on. I yeah. Guess what just happened, guys? They didn't work at all. <sighs> Check it out. Check it out. It just exploded and broke in half. I think we didn't have enough power. Let's try to add a couple more batteries. And I have another pencil lid and we'll see if it's a fail or not. It's definitely hot. It's burning pretty fast, pretty hot. Check this out. Oh, oh, that's it. That's it. Let me turn off the lights and see how bright it is. Let's start again. Connect it. Maybe the glass jar was messing it up. So, it's getting hot as you can see. So, let me go to the dark room and ch test it out over there in the dark room. I think the problem is we don't have enough power. We need a bigger battery, maybe a car battery, to make it uh, really, uh, really shiny. Maybe we'll do a part three and see if it's gonna work or not. But this is not really bad. Check out what I did here. I got a wire, any kind of wire, and just wrapped it around of a nail. Just, I'm just gonna do it one more time, like that. And I did it with a bunch of them, like that, you see? And I did with a bunch of them, exactly six. And then you're gonna do in this kind of order. Nail, copper, nail, copper, nail, copper, nail, copper, nail, copper. And again, nail and copper on this side. So at the end, you're gonna end it up on this side is nail and on this side is copper. And let's test out our LED lights and see if it's gonna make any energy. Let me turn off the lights. I got here a bunch of different colors of LED and let's stick it in. If it doesn't work, other side. Here's the blue. You see? It works. Start the other one. I know all it is is just vinegar. Let me show to you the whole thing. Uh, and again, the orange one. It does, it's not as bright as the other ones. What this color is. The red one. I don't know if you guys can see. The red one and the white one. Let's see if it's gonna turn on the two LEDs. Doesn't wanna let this one on. You see this one is red is on but white is off. So not enough power see green one and, and white is on it now two LEDs are powered up right now let's see if it's gonna hold the three ones nope doesn't want to so this summer I broke my finger check out the picture so I had to use only left hand 
And you know, there was a challenge just like opening and kind of jaw. Sometimes it's impossible to do it with your left hand. And sometimes even if you're not stoned enough, sometimes it's a big challenge to open it. But today I'm gonna show you how to hack it so anybody can open it, like simply and easy. All you're gonna need is a knife. And no, you're not gonna be cracking on a side like that. Let's check it out how I'm gonna do it. So check this out. I got a jar of pickles, you're too tired to open it or one of your arms is broken and it's impossible to open it, you know. So you grab your knife and just make a little hole over here. Just big enough. Guess what happens, when you make a hole you get this vacuum out so it's a lot easier to open it now. You see? It's a lot easier. I open it with my left hand. But you know how usually stone those are like almost impossible to open. Make world's simplest flashlight. All you need is LED light, NCR 2032, I have battery, like this kind of battery. All we're gonna do is grab our LED light and stick it in. And guess what? If it doesn't turn on, stick it in on the other side. And it's on, you see it? And I have a blue LED light right here. As you can see, we're gonna test it out in the dark in a second. Alright, here's how you do it. Stick it in on like that. And you see, if it's not on, means you have to upside down, turn it around, and you see it's on. See one wire on one side and the other one on the other side and we got the flashlight. And yeah, let's go test it out in the dark now. Alright, you guys see the LED light and the battery right here. Nothing else. And let's check it out. You see the door, you can see the door. Camera doesn't give as much justice as in real life. But as you can see even on the camera it's pretty bright. We can see pretty good.